Welcome back. This is the OT Time on Plus TV Africa. Now, over the weekend, Toto DK applauded federal government over various youth development programs. Um, she was featured on the News Agency of Nigeria Forum to sensitize Nigerian youths on the need to stand firm by the leaders to build the country. DK, who is also Director of Socials and Empowerment Committee of Youth on Mobilization and Sensitization, said she actually thinks that the government is doing a lot. Now, according to her, prior to her being a member of the committee, she did not have the knowledge of the government having so many platforms assigned to youths to be able to get them to the next level. Um, now joining us virtually to look at some of these platforms and initiatives by the government put in place for the benefit of the youths of Nigeria is the Special Assistant, ICT and Corporate Relations to Honorable Minister of Youth and Sports Development, Uluwa Kemi and Melody. Hello Kemi. Good evening. How are we? Fine, thank you. How are you doing? I'm okay, thank you. Okay, so just like um, Tonto DK, I, I, I hope I won't be wrong when I say I think most of us do not um, know of these platforms that she's talking about. And you're working close to um, the ministry that is very um, interested in this area. Can you help us highlight some of these platforms for the um, knowledge of those watching? Okay, awesome. Um, yes. Since uh, this particular Honourable Minister has taken up office, the Ministry has been involved in a lot of initiatives for the Nigerian youth. Um, the Minister, first of all, started with the DEAL, D-E-E-L, which stands for Digital Skills uh, um, Acquisition, um, Employability, Entrepreneurship, and Leadership Skills. Um, we're trying to ensure that every Nigerian youth um, has a better advantage with these, uh, um, for, within these four areas. So under the digital skills acquisition, um, the ministry has started a number of programs, uh, one of which is the, we're currently doing a 60 day app challenge. So for the 60 day app challenge, Here's what I found on the um, we've got a number of um, young people that are involved in the app challenge in, in various industries. Um, they stand to win cash prizes, training prizes and, and a lot more. Um, over the COVID-19 pandemic period, lockdown period, we're able to train uh, under about under 20,000 Nigerian youth in um, digital skills with uh, our partnership with IBM. Um, we have partnerships ongoing with Google and Microsoft. Um, we're just working out modalities and that will also include training for Nigerian youth. So first and foremost, we want to ensure that in the digital area, most Nigerian youth are, are, are trained to, to the level that they need to be. Then we've looked at employability. Employability is for um, the area of ensuring that every Nigerian youth is employable. So it's, um, it's not just about having a degree or having a certification. It's also about having the workplace desired skills. So workplace desired skills, um, in order to ensure that we get that done properly, we've come up with a work experience program. The work experience program um, gets the young people teamed up with various organizations. So they go into the organizations and uh, do a work placement there for three months where a stipend is pay paid by the ministry to cover uh, basic logistic costs. So the companies don't take any responsibility for uh, um, any costs. So that is more of an incentive for them to take up a number of Nigerian youth to join them in their organizations, for them to literally, you know, as we call it, get their leg in the door. And then when you get in there, you exhibit qualities that uh, uh, um, the employers are looking for, and there is a possibility of them retaining you with a, a job uh, placement. We also have entrepreneurship. For entrepreneurship, uh, that's so, you know, I, I think that's kind of our key one at the moment because there are so many loans and schemes available for entrepreneurs. We're trying to ensure that most ideas that come to the ministry, once we get hold of them, we're able to, to right. assist in both giving the, the training required and the financial backing required mm -hmm. to ensure that these MSMEs are able to scale up and obviously employ more Nigerian youth. So thank you. Um, thank in the you leadership. For that. Yes, you, Thank you, you, for you that. can't it's, it's, be, as every single ind individual, right. your leadership qualities determine how far you will go in life. Of so course. it's key it's, that we ensure that every Nigerian youth has good leadership, leadership qualities. 
Did you want to say something there? Yeah, sorry. I, I, it sounds quite a lot, and I'm already impressed by everything. Just because of time, I want to be able to jump, um, throw some questions in. Obviously, everything is unarguably good, and we need that in the country. But I don't know if you are of the same um, idea, uh, ideology as someone like Tonto DK, who's saying that the reason why we are not finding... Because I'm a youth and I don't know about this. And there's quite a lot of people like me on this on the table, I'm pretty sure. So is it that, are you agreeing with that statement that it's because of fake news and we're not really pushing that out? And if, if so, what can, what can be done that this type of information is disseminated to the people who really need it? Because it seems like this, this amazing initiative is not being circulated at all. Well, uh, may I say I beg to differ. The ministry are doing their part. We're doing our part to ensure that the information is out there. I don't know if you've heard about the ENIF, which is the Nigerian Youth Investment Fund that was approved by the Federal Executive Council a few weeks ago um, for 75 billion naira to invest in youth-owned businesses, youth-owned ideas. Um, I believe that's, that's, that's all over the media at the moment. The only uh, fake news is you know, you've got a couple of people putting up portals saying uh, you can apply through this portal, which we, our portal has not opened yet, so you can't apply yet. Um, there is a lot of information out there, but the onus is on you as a young person to search for it. Mm. Because if you do visit the ministry's Twitter, you'll find information there. The ministry's Facebook, the ministry's website. We do have a new website that is strictly for Nigerian youth opportunities as well as it's an aggregator website. So mm. opportunities, scholarships, funding, you know, name it, anything for the Nigerian youth is Amazing. available there. And it's just noya.ng. So uh, at the moment, we're trying to get every Nigerian youth to register on noya.ng so they don't miss out on, on all these opportunities that are being rolled out. You know, I think we need to concentrate and people like myself and yourself um, and probably Tonjo Eriki as well. Our, um, because we do have that, um, because we do have that voice, that the, the young people do listen to, or we do have the platform that the young people do log into, we need to, to ensure that we continue to um, amplify the voice of the ministry or the voice of the minister to let them know that these things are available. And young people too, they have smartphones, they have computers, they have televisions. They need to use all these gadgets and devices to look for information that can better them. Yeah. We don't Amazing need to spend stuff. our time online um, doing the wrong things. I won't say exactly what the wrong things are, yeah. but we need to spend our time online looking for information that can better us. Mm -hmm. Amazing stuff. Okay, so um, I heard you say something like 27 billion naira, right? Uh, when we're talking about the old, um, what's it called, the COVID thing, when we had the issue of um, somebody fainting in the Senate and all of that, you know, we had billions and figures that were used into giving us palliatives during um, the COVID-19. So what is the um, guarantee that and we didn't get any of those billions right what is the guarantee that this 27 billion that has just been approved isn't going to go into some people's private pockets and not actually get to the youths because that is exactly what happens in this country if you want to be real with each other so what measures are being put in place to make sure that this money is actually used for what they are what is being approved for I'll just correct you that it's actually 75 billion, not 27. So oh, 75. 75 wow, even way more than I years. thought. Yes, whopping sum of money. Mm. And what we've done, the framework that we've put into place to ensure that these funds are not mismanaged, um, is the money goes directly from um, the custodians of the fund directly into the young person's bank accounts. So there are no middle people, there's no aggregator to collect the money and then disseminate. No, the money goes directly into the young person's bank account. So once the uh, applications are open, the young person logs on, uh, makes the application, is evaluated. Once they pass all the stages, the money will be paid to them directly. We at the ministry have a monitoring and evaluation dashboard where we are viewing every single application that comes in and every single application that goes out. So, so apart from none, none of into us this... here in the ministry have any access to that fund. That fund is strictly for under 35s and it goes straight to them as long mm. as they've uh, fulfilled all criteria. Okay, uh, thank you for being part of this conversation and at least highlighting some of these things we didn't even know about. So, in a nutshell, if you want to advise anyone watching or the youth watching to say this is the platform or the website you are supposed to go to to get all this information at a, a spot, what website would that be? Noya.ng. So that's Noya, which is N-O-Y-A, Nigeria Online 
Youth Assembly. So that's why it's N O Y A dot N G. Okay. All right. Thank you so much, Kemi, for helping us um, highlight all this. That's my pleasure. Okay. Thank you so much. I don't, don't know. Say I don't that know. We not plug you. I don't know yeah, about really? you guys, but seventy-five billion. I need to get some of that. So you have yeah, you know you're the yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. I'm still less than thirty-five. Okay. We we'll have to move back. <laughs> no, 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 why? Is no, it that O R G or the N G? The N G. Okay. Cool. So go on N O Y A. Dot dot ng ng. and find out this she said the portal is not working yet it, no, 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 but you get the information you get you. the information yeah we did we're doing a lot for you so stop watching Thanks just big brother me, ninja <laughs> 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 go and find the information that would better your life stop saying the government is not okay. doing now they are telling you they are doing and i mean i love the part that they want people not just to be educated or having a bsc but to be employable mm. and that's why they're trying to train people in the digital yeah. area so that's amazing mm. to, i think to what really hear, stood actually. out for me massively was the um, work experience program i feel like that has been a stumbling block for uh, quite a lot of people mm -hmm. and you really don't know where to go to especially if your school doesn't help you with getting jobs after school mm -hmm. so having that type of program where they can have some experience is amazing it's so, amazing um i'm going to go and check it out make sure that everything she said well, factually well, and stuff. well like every other thing that has failed us in this country i just hope this is not some talk talk i like talk and do as you put your money where your mouth yeah, is like so, you said people yeah. are already being trained so, so. let's let's mm -hmm. see how, let's see how it goes but i like the fact that she said i still feel like the information is not being disseminated well Me enough too. Yeah, I still feel, yeah, yeah. Either, yeah yeah you could have Which helped is in the, is on in every media platform i was gonna ask her like what media platform are you on because mm. where the youths are i don't yeah, see yeah we can't say mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so they, they need, need to, to do invest better. more in think they need to add social like, media yeah. like, especially social don't go on nta and think yeah I think that's what she means. Not okay. I didn't mean that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't mean that. No disrespect. Come on, tea time. How we wrap up this episode of Tea Time. Thank you for watching and I hope you learned something and gotten the information you need. If you have any more questions or opinions, please send them via WhatsApp to 090-6005719. I will definitely try to get them to the right source. Um, My thank you as always to go to my co-anchors, Ife Omai and Ife Olu Washenke. And the... <laughs> and the entire production team. My name remains Elsie Godwin. Please do stay safe.